I feel like it's kind of a slight on my behalf that I got bitten by one of Australia's most venomous spiders and I didn't die. Another banga. cortisone injection been home for a few hours but i've kind of just been laying down and relaxing the actual process went so fast it was painful but i think i low-key like made it worse for myself because the ultrasound you as they do it and i was watching the ultrasound watching the needle like go through my leg and hit the bursa basically what's happened is um you have this thing called a bursa which is like cushioning between your muscle and your bone found in your knees shoulders hips ankles growing a lot of different places what happens is it can get inflamed and then you get this thing called bursitis that can be caused from specific jobs that are very hands-on or where you're on your knees a lot or we're using your shoulders a lot but in my case i think it was from overtraining my glutes and not warming up and not cooling down properly which is my own fault we thought initially it was a tear in my glute medius which is this muscle here i'll just show you a photo at the moment, I feel fine. I'm actually in more pain at the moment, but he did say that because we've aggravated it by putting the needle into the bursa, it's going to hurt until the steroid kicks in, which could be like 24 to 48 hours. I've got a Band-Aid over where they put the needle in. That's where they put the needle in there. Now it's 7.45 p.m. I'm just going to have a shower and chill and probably go to sleep early. I don't have any plans for tomorrow because I'm not really meant to do anything. I don't know if it's going to hurt more or if the steroid is going to kick in or what's going to happen. So we'll just play it by ear tomorrow and see what happens and then hopefully by sunday i'll kind of be feeling better honestly though just take this as your sign to warm up and cool down after you exercise properly but i'll keep you guys updated good night Your toes out? Yeah, my toes are out. <laughs> This is the reality of what my room looks like. <coughs> yep. Hey. Dad and I are about to go to a dress up party. So this is us before. I'm gonna go get ready and then we'll show you our outfits. It's time for the costume reveal. <laughs> Men in Black. Oh, already go. Over and out. That's right. I'm Men in Black. Hi, I'm Catwoman. Yeah, I'm Steve. I'm Princess Leia. I'm Slash. I think that Slash is going to get the drunkest tonight. I think Steve Irwin is going to get the drunkest tonight. I think the cat in the hat's going to get the most pissed tonight. I think the drunkest one tonight is going to be Slash. And Nick the Puto is going to be the drunkest tonight. Have a good night. Well, well, well. 
we officially have a spider bite update. If you watched my last vlog, you would have heard me talking about how I thought I got bitten by a spider. I knew that I probably needed to go to the doctor, but I didn't feel sick enough that I needed to be hospitalized. As you would have seen in this vlog, I got a cortisone injection in my hip. So I've been dealing with my hip being in pain for like weeks and weeks. I feel like that kind of took priority. I kind of just disregarded the whole spider bite thing. Where the bite is, is just above where my shirt ends. Yes, thank you so much. Have a good day. Apologies for the interruption. So long story short, I finally went to the doctor and the second that I showed her the mark on my arm, she was like, that's from a white tail. I was under the impression that it was from a red back just because I know someone that has been bitten by a white tip, white tail, whatever you want to call it. And they were like severely unwell, hospitalized, wound was like really disgusting. And I just didn't have that reaction. So I kind of ruled out that straight away because I know they can also be like quite fatal. It was a white tip. She could tell straight away that's what it was. And she took like a really close up photo, like showed me comparison photos. I have to go on anti-venom antibiotics, which will like kill the venom that's still in my body. I will have a scar for probably three to six months, but then hopefully after that, it'll be gone. I'm on these antibiotics. I have to take these four times a day. I also have to take a probiotic because every time I've ever had antibiotics, they do really like dry out my throat, like fuck up my stomach, fuck up like my pH levels and like all that jazz. So I got a probiotic this time, which I'm going to take as well. Have you had your in health class today? Also, like I just want to mention, I'm very, very lucky. I was so confused on how I didn't end up hospitalized it could have been fatal it, she did mention that it's a combination of healthy blood and like good immune system I was lucky enough that i could actually fight the venom off i did get sick after it happened but not to the point where i felt like i needed to go to hospital in my case if i did go straight to the hospital they would have drained the venom immediately i'm just like so casual about injuries and illnesses that I think I've learned my lesson that I need to take myself more seriously. But I think that we should not normalize being casual about our illnesses and we should actually look after ourselves. I just want to take a moment to say though, I feel like it's kind of a slight on my behalf that I got bitten by one of Australia's most venomous spiders and I didn't die. I didn't even get hospitalized. I literally fought it on my own. So I'm gonna go take my anti-venom antibiotics and I'm gonna put that on my resume and you're going to not be like me and take yourself to the hospital if you get bitten by a spider. I feel like this has low-key made me a bit less scared of spiders now that I've been bitten by one. I'm like, oh, okay. It's not that deep. I'll probably update you in my next vlog, which will be out next Monday or Tuesday. That's pretty much the whole rundown of me. Hello everyone. So we're in my kitchen right now and I'm just about to do some meal prepping. Super simple what I've been doing at the moment. I've just been doing some form of chicken and pumpkin. So I'll cut this up and put this in the oven and then I will cook this. And then I'll make a salad for lunch. So I'll take those two in a container, heat them up at work, and then I add rocket, goat's cheese, almonds, balsamic vinegar, and lemon to make like a nice big salad. It's really filling, it's really good. I'm literally obsessed with it. Heating up the chicken and the pumpkin at the start is just like a game changer. Feels like you just bought it from a cafe. I literally have been having it every single Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday I'll normally buy lunch like fishbowl, goodsman, or Sushi is kind of like my rotation at work at the moment. Dinners, I have been having a My Muscle Chef meal because I just have very limited time when it comes to cooking. Breakfast, I'll generally either make like a protein shake or something. <laughs> Hi. Is that a video or? Yeah, it's a video. It's for my vlog. 